welcome. Today I am planning to show that that how we can check our radiators radiators this uh, antifreeze liquid freezing point and this uh, ice point when this antifreeze liquid becomes ice and uh, and then when 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 you have very cold weather and maybe snow and ice it's important that that this uh, antifreeze system is enough enough powerful that it can re resist this ice and what what we need that we can check this antifreeze freezing point and an ice point we we need for example that kind of meter what is very easy to use and not very expensive this costs something like 5 to 10 US dollars and and there is idea that that then when you press this part in here then this pipe it takes this antifreeze material in, intake in in this uh, glass area and it's this measuring is really easy and here is also scale what what uh, there are those uh, Celsius Celsius uh, temperature scales in there. There is a plus plus ten to minus minus thirty Celsius. And and there is also symbols that this green area is like like uh, it is this. Uh, there is meta methanol and ethanol glucose. Okay, and in it, it's good to check that what what antifreeze material you have. I I have now this ethanol glucose is my my antifreeze liquid in here. Okay, and and how how we how we how we measure this coolant ice point and freezing point. Firstly we open this radiator cap and then there must be this antifreeze liquid in inside in here because we insert then this system in there in that way and then then I press this in here and in the same time this antifreeze liquid it comes to this uh, glass area and, and there is idea that uh, that this uh, this antifreeze material or oh sorry this liquid the, there must be at least one one cell one centimeter distance between this bottom and then this measurement class class bar article this this uh, part and and now now when we look this this uh, scale the scale this uh, antifreeze antifreeze this metric value is that point where this this water line is and, and then we only look this number in this scale and, and like, like in here we can see that, that there is amount 29 minus Celsius and this this is uh, very good measurement and uh, I can I can use this car in 
in also in wi winter condition. And this is especially good information if, if you have any any cold areas in like uh, like Sahara Africa this is not maybe so important but but all other areas it's of course good to measure things and I and it's good to measure these things couple of times and I I, I do that again I insert in that and then I press press this uh, plastic area in here and then a little bit I release and I check that that, that there is uh, water it, it must be not too much like in here because then this metric don't work and I have to drop a little bit this liquid away that and now now it works and then we check this amount again and there is this uh, amount what is uh, again this 20 29 minus celsius okay and this this was this was the way how you can measure your cars anti-freeze freezing point and and when this liquid becomes ice thank you